I hope you're doing well today. I know that many of you are continuing to live through very difficult circumstances. And in spite of that, many of you continue to reach out and ask how you can serve others here at CAC. And, and then you followed through and you've served the people in this congregation so well and in so many different ways. Thank you for doing that. I also understand that lots of you are serving in your sphere of influence uh, for those people that you love and have contact with. Thank you. Uh, please keep it up. Please keep serving one another. It's also pretty clear that some of, some of us are experiencing circumstances that are just very difficult in our lives right now or in the lives of our family and our friends. I want you to know that we're praying for you. We're lifting you up. You know, this morning I read a story in uh, Mark about Bartimaeus, the blind beggar. Jesus is walking by and Bartimaeus makes enough noise that Jesus uh, hears him and asks for Bartimaeus to be called specifically to him. And he comes and Jesus asks him a very straightforward question. What do you want me to do for you? Isn't it interesting that Jesus asks that question when it seems the answer is obvious? And in fact, Bartimaeus responds, I want to see. Jesus grants his request and Bartimaeus is able to receive his sight and see. But the story makes it obvious that there's some benefit. There's a, there's a real purpose in us uh, verbalizing the desires that we have, verbalizing them to Jesus, even though he already knows what we desire. It, it's very clear that Bartimaeus wanted to see, and, and that's something that benefited him. And, and I just want you to know, maybe to remind you, to reassure you, it's okay to ask for things that, that benefit us. It's okay. It's okay to ask for God to protect our families. It's okay for, uh, for us to ask that God would uh, allow us to keep our jobs or perhaps to return to our jobs very quickly. We can, we can ask for God to give wisdom to our local government officials and state government officials and the national leaders, just as we did on Saturday as a church. It's okay to ask God to to strengthen our faith that we might trust Him more. It's okay to ask Him to lessen our anxiety. Those are just some examples. Those may be some of the things that you desire. There may be a completely different list. I just want to encourage you to go to Jesus and boldly ask Him for those things that you desire. God, in His wisdom, may say no to our request. Or he may choose to answer in a way that we could never uh, anticipate. But really, I want to encourage you today to go to Jesus in prayer and, and respond as if he was sitting in front of you saying, what do you want me to do for you? Pour out your heart to him. Be open, be honest, and you can be bold. Ephesians 3.12 tells us that it says, through faith in Jesus, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Another version says, through him, we have boldness and confident access. Because we have a relationship with Jesus, we can go to him and bring our requests to him. And we can do it with confidence. We can do it boldly. I hope you'll do that today. And then I hope that you will let me know how God answers your bold requests. Like so many of the other pastors have stated, I miss being together with you all. It's, 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 it's sad to not be able to come together as a body physically and worship and praise together. But I look forward to being able to do that, hopefully one day soon. Until then, may God bless you. Hey CAC, thank you so much for watching and tuning in for one of our video logs. We're going to try to pump out a few of these each and every week. 
to encourage you and to continue to keep digital community alive. We'd really appreciate you like, following, and subscribing to our Facebook page, Instagram page, and YouTube to keep up to date with all the content that we're putting out. You wouldn't mind giving us a share as well on Facebook to have your friends and family be able to see these video logs as well. We'd really appreciate it. We love you so much. We'll see you next time.